first graders. I am here for our final writing journal lesson before we say goodbye for summer vacation. Um, over the past few weeks, we've learned all different kinds of ways you can write in your writing journal. So before we do our writing for today, let's look at some of those kinds of writings that we learned. Uh, we learned how to write a diary entry where you say something about how your day went or what you did. We learned how to make lists like a to-do list or a grocery list. We wrote how-to books together where we gave uh, directions about how to make a sandwich or how to, how to be healthy or how to wash hands. And we learned opinion writing, um, recording your favorite movie or song or food. So when you look back on your journal um, in a few years, you'll be able to remember what your opinions were when you were in first grade. So the last box, you're, you'll notice a question mark. And what that means is for your last type of entry, it can really be any kind of writing that you want to do. So I put a question mark because it's your chance to think, what is my favorite kind of writing? Okay, so watch me as I show you how I pick my favorite kind of writing and I write in my journal uh, for the last, the last time today. And of course, you'll be able to do um, writing every day this summer um, to keep your skills sharp and fresh and ready for second grade. So for my last type of writing today, I decided I wanted to write a letter and I'm gonna write it to my first grade class, which is you all. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, turn to the next blank page and I'm going to write the date. And then I'm going to do a little picture here, a little heart because I'm going to write about um, missing you all over the summer and drawing a little picture of, of two friends holding hands with the hope that soon we'll be able to high five in person and, and say hello again. Okay, so when you are writing a letter, you start up here with dear. And then you say who your letter's to. So my letter is to you. So I'm gonna say dear class. And then I'm gonna write a little message in the body of the letter right here. I'm gonna say have a sight word and I'm gonna plan out the rest of my sentence before I write it. Have a great summer. Love Mrs. Dulay. Okay, so let's see what do I have so far. Dear class, have a great summer. Mm, that's called the body of the letter. And then we're gonna put the closing right down here. Okay, so you might remember from morning message that letters have a closing at the end. And it looks like this. Love. And then your name. So there's my name right there. And then you know what good writers do, boys and girls? When they're done writing, they go back and they read all of their words to make sure they didn't forget anything. So let's do that together. Dear class, have a great summer. Love, Mrs. Dulé. So boys and girls, I hope that you have a great summer. I hope that you choose your favorite kind of writing to write today. And I hope that you do lots and lots of writing this summer. Okay, you can, you can do any one of these entries um, for all the rest of the pages in your journal. And make sure that you do a lot of writing each and every day to keep, 
keep your brain strong and uh, your mind ready for second grade. So have a great summer, boys and girls. I will miss working with you, but I hope to see you soon again. And if you write a letter, don't forget to take a picture and send it over to me so I can see your beautiful work. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.